Good morning, everyone. We are so excited that you've all joined us this morning, and I think we have most of the technical issues now worked out, which are fabulous issues to have. Um, I, I'm Margaret Anderson Kelleher. I actually lead the Minnesota High Technology Association. So at moments like this, we always just say, damn the technology. But we are all up and running now. And I am happy to start us off with a welcome by just a wonderful leader of the University of Minnesota, someone who's brought a lot of energy and clarity to the work of the University of Minnesota, the president of the University of Minnesota, Eric Kaler. <clears throat> Thank you, Margaret, and uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome uh, to the University of Minnesota. If you can't tell from my voice, I'm a sports fan, and it's a good weekend for football in the state of Minnesota, so I'm a little hoarse. I apologize for that. Uh, but we really are just absolutely delighted uh, to host so many key players uh, in the economic and innovation community from the United States and from Canada uh, to Minnesota today. I'd like to offer a special welcome to the leader of Canada's consulate here in Minneapolis, Consul General Merchant, a friend of Minnesota business and a friend of the university. Special thanks to the U.S. Economic Development Administration and the Harvard Business School for its support of this conference and also Greater MSP and the Council of State Governments in the Midwest. Now, as many of you know, for years, people who lived on the East Coast and maybe even went to Ivy League schools and people on the West Coast called this flyover land because they just saw Minnesota and the Midwest out the window uh, of their airplane. But thanks to the extraordinary mapping work of Lee Munich and Burke Murphy at our Humphrey School of Public Affairs, we're proving that it would be wrong for anybody to neglect the Minnesota and the Midwest economy. The Midwest region is thriving, and we here at the University of Minnesota are proud to say that we are a key engine for that activity. Of course, it starts with preparing the workforce for today and tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, and that's what we do. And it continues with the innovation in our laboratories, where we have spun out 61 startup companies over the past five years, and our faculty have received approximately 500 patents for their invention. Our commitment to uh, Minnesota is driven uh, across the campus, but it's particularly evident in the Office of Economic Development. It's a revamped office, and it's also part of the sponsorship for this event. It is the front door to Minnesota and to the nation and the world for business opportunities to come to the university. The state's economy is also bolstered by our strong relationship with Minnesota business and industries. Relationships we've made easier by creating a legal structure called the Minnesota Innovation Partnerships, or MIN-IP, which dramatically lowers the barriers between industry and university researchers who want to come together to solve a problem and not worry about who owns the intellectual property, if there is any, at the end of the day. We also have a, a strong commitment to strengthening our interaction uh, in rural Minnesota and in the metro areas. We have clusters of research around food, medical devices, mining, and water, and all of those are part of what we call MINDRIVE, which is a clever, sort of clever, acronym for Minnesota Discovery Research and Innovation Economy. You have to capitalize the V in innovation to get MINDRIVE, but it works. It's a terrific pro process where we match the strengths of the university in research areas against the needs of the state of Minnesota. We've identified four areas where we have succeeded in getting state investment that we've leveraged with private, business, and government research to move forward. Those areas are food and food safety, water, robotics and advanced manufacturing, and neuromodulation, which you can think of as a pacemaker for your brain. These are areas where we have international strength and in which we're moving forward in partnership uh, with the state of Minnesota. We're proud of that, and we are, of course, eager to establish new partnerships, and I hope some come from the conversations you have today. So I'll close by acknowledging the remarkable four-year-long partnership between the Harvard Business School and our Humphrey School on this U.S. cluster mapping project. The room today is filled with people brought together who are interested in these results and using these results to drive further investment and innovation. Four Canadian provinces and 12 Midwestern states represented here today. It's what we at the University of Minnesota pride ourselves on as having a focus on economic development and vitality and a commitment to convening leaders from around the world. 
And I'll close with the observation that one important leader here is Regent Patty Simmons, one of my bosses at the University of Minnesota uh, and a leading citizen of the state of Minnesota. Welcome, Patty. I hope you have a very productive and successful conference, and thank you for being here.